After traveling to Nashville and having a great time with my good friend Oscar, I created the world's first Nashville hot fried brisket. Yes, that did turn out fantastic. And since that was an incredible experiment with the brisket, today I decided to do the Nashville hot fried steak. Will this turn out as good as the brisket or just a complete disaster? Well, let's find out right now as these are the star of today's show. As you can see, there are three beautiful ribeye steaks, one and a half inches thick, choice grade, and most importantly, they are just beautiful steaks. And like with every steak, the first thing it needs is salt. For that, I like to season it liberally. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like to use coarse salt. As you can see, once I was done, it was perfectly seasoned. But now in order to make Nashville hot fry steak, we need a rub. To be specific, a Nashville rub. And here's how to make it. Into a bowl, I threw in some cayenne pepper, followed by granulated garlic, garlic, black pepper, a little bit of brown sugar, and some smoked paprika. Mix everything well because the rub is now done. Notice that there was no salt on this rub whatsoever. And as always, exact amount will be in the description down below for you. To ensure great flavor on my steaks, I seasoned all of them with it. And just like the salt, the most important thing is to ensure that every single edge is perfectly covered. Once that was done, I went ahead and transferred them to a cooling rack. Now notice that I have three steaks. So for that, I want to see the best way to put a nice spicy flavor on a steak. One of them will be the control, with just a rub and nothing else. The second one on the other hand, we're gonna be making a compound butter. Oh yes, it is not a Nashville hot fried butter. It's something quite incredible. And to make it, it is super easy and here's how. Into a food processor, I threw in one stick of butter, followed by one tablespoon of kochujang, which is Korean chili paste, a little bit of garlic paste, followed by chives, a good amount of Parmesan cheese, and finished it off with a good amount of smoked flaky salt. Then I blend everything together, threw it in some clinch plastic, made it really nice and tight, let it sit in the refrigerator, for about one hour. Once the time was up, I took it out, sliced it up, and this is my take on spicy compound butter. Now, I'll be honest with you, it is delicious. However, can it be better than a Nashville hot fried steak? Well, let's find out because here's how to make it. The first thing to do is to make the spicy oil. So, into a bowl, I threw in some Wagyu beef tallow, then immediately threw it into the spice rub. Now, it is very important to get the temperature right. You don't want it to be too hot. I found that between 325 degrees Fahrenheit to 3 50 is perfect. This is going to be applied to the steak once it's fried. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to go ahead and prepare the flour. I started with all-purpose flour, followed by that rub we just made in the beginning. And of course, don't forget a pinch of salt. Mix everything well and it was now ready. And as you already know, all I have to do is to bread it. First, the steak goes into the flour, followed by the egg wash, then back into the flour, and now I have the steak ready to be fried. However, if you know this channel, we have to make a side dish. It's just a requirement to have an incredible meal. And today, this one is quite tasty and very easy to make. The first thing to do is to go ahead and fry up some bacon. As always, start with a cold pan. This will allow the fat to render nice and slow. Then I like to separate the fat because that is good for many things. And of course, in the end, we are left with bacon bits. It does not get any easier than that. Now for the taters, I'm just using the frozen one. Some things are not worth making from scratch. And at least to me, this is one of them. So I'll just be putting them in the oven and getting them nice golden brown. That allows me time to go ahead and concentrate on a cheese sauce. So first, I threw in a good amount of butter into a pan, followed by some flour. See, I'm making something that it's called a roux. I want to cook this flour really good. After about five minutes, I went ahead and added cold milk. Using a whisk, I mixed it really good. As I'm doing so and the milk is heating up, it will start thickening up on you real quick. Once I was happy with the consistency, I went ahead and added cheddar cheese. Then all there's left to do is to mix it well, because my cheese sauce is done. It does not get any easier than that. Because the last thing we gotta prepare is the sauce. To do that, into a food processor I threw in some sour cream, followed by garlic paste, a little bit of dry parsley, we can't forget about the Nashville rub we just made in the beginning, and to finish it off, a pinch of salt. Cover it up, blend it on high, and that is it. Everything has that Nashville hot fry rub on it. Talking about that, by this time my tater tots were fully baked. As you can see, it's super simple, just stick it in the oven and follow the directions. As now, to finish them up, I went ahead and added that cheese sauce we just made, followed by the sour cream sauce, don't forget about the bacon bits, a little bit more sauce, and finish it off with some chives. Now this is today's side dish. As you saw it there, it is super easy to make. But most importantly, there's no way that this is not gonna be good. It's just gonna be perfect to go along with our steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. One will be fried. The other one, don't forget about that beautiful compound butter. And lastly, we have our control. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill them, so let's do it.
right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks. A little bit of rain, everybody. I hope that the mic can pick up okay. But last time we had a rain, you guys enjoyed it. So we said like, let's not do it inside, let's do it outside. A little rain, a little water ain't never hurt nobody. I got a little experiment going on right here. I just want to know which one tastes better. All right, there's no control today at all. Might be a little spicy, and you guys are my spicy guys. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God. All right, I'm going for the milk, bro. This. Oh my God. And then I got little tater tots over here. The steaks look incredible, but I'm super excited for this side dish. All right, enough talking, let's go for it. All right, dig in, let's go this direction first. Leo, please, enough talking, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's nice. I like that, boy. Sometimes I crave different flavors, everybody. This is one of them. <clears throat> this is nice. You good, good? Yeah, spicy. Got a little yeah. tingle to it. De definitely got a kick on tingle it. Tingle my ass. That thing's spicy, everybody. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that spicy. Guys, it's got a good little tingle to it. <laughs> Wow, this boy is uh, always gonna kill me and roast me on my spiciness. By the way, steak is absolutely delicious. So this one, instead of using salt, pepper, and garlic powder, I used a little Nashville hot rub in there. Ooh. So that's the difference. That's the little little sweetness in there. It, it, is, yes, it has a little bit of sugar. It definitely doesn't have the same, you know, salt, pepper, garlic powder flavor that we're used to, but this is actually really nice. Like you are yeah. saying, it does have a little bit of a kick, but it's not overpowering. It complements the steak well. This is really good. You have to be very careful whenever you're grilling the steak since it has sugar. That's why I didn't put too much sugar. You don't want the steak to taste sweet. With that being said, let's go for the second one because I'm super excited. Yes. Now the second one has my most favorite ingredients of all time. This one looks even better than the first one. I know, smell it. Oh, I don't salivate very often, I am now. Enough talking, let's go for it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. Wow. This is one of the better steaks that we've had in a, that I've had in a long time. It's so insane how good oh, this wow. steak is. It's really cheesy. Like that's what I get as soon as I take a bite. It's, it's very cheesy. It almost tastes like a mac and cheese steak. Nice and I, creamy. But I can't see any type of like obvious cheese on it. Whatever happened to this steak, the flavors penetrated really deep and this is jam packed with flavor. This one is gonna give the last one the biggest run for its money. 100%. Here's the deal everybody. I don't say this very often because I reserve only for special steaks. Just the flavor that is leaving in my mouth with that wonderful compound butter, by the way. It is my top steak as it sits right now. One of the most incredible flavors on a steak that I've ever put. This is to die for, I'm telling you. I'm actually surprised that Guga is enjoying it because this is kind of like a little bit spicier than the it first one. It is more spicy than the first one, but it's just a wonderful flavor of gojugan, which I like. It's like a Korean chili paste. Oh, got it. I, enough talking, let's go for the last one because I'm excited. Wait, wait. No, I'm, I'm already going. Nah, Google, you already stopped. What the, are you guys the, doing? It's too late. We going? can't skip the taters. We're skip skipping the taters. No. Put the, put Get moving, down. Leo. Put your steaks down. No! I must respect Leo because you look very mean when no. you said that. I'm gonna give you a good amount, Leo. That's it. Oh, that's what you get and don't get upset. No, I'm kidding. You get as much <laughs> as you want. Would you call it loaded mashed potatoes? Loaded taters. <laughs> that's the name. <laughs> Let's give this a go. You guys ready? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, come on. Oh, man. How's that not gonna be good? <laughs> wow. The side dish is really good, guys. Has so many different flavors and textures. Creaminess from all the cheese and the sour cream. The taters are nice and crunchy. Bacon is crispy. You get the fattiness from all of this. I like to cook my taters a little bit overdone so that they stay nice and yeah. little crispy. This is absolutely delicious. I've been eating tater tots since elementary school. Listen, I've never had tater tots that good. Enough talking, let's go for the last one, please. Yes, Leo? Yes. Thank you. I must say, this one looks very, very spicy. You guys ready for it? Yep. Let's give it a go. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, man. Woo! That's amazing. That is good. Little hit of sweetness. Yep. A little bit of savoriness. Yep. A lot of Wagyu fat put in there, by the way. Yep. With that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Nashville hot fried chili oil, <laughs> not sauce. Yep. The Nashville hot fried steak. Mm -hmm on the plate is really good. <laughs> the crust on this, it just changes it. The Nashville flavors on the crust and on the steak come through beautifully. You feel that little kick on your mouth? I definitely do. It's still not like super spicy, yeah. but it's nice. But I must say, I like the one in the middle more. Oh, That's my too. winner right there. <laughs> the one in the middle is the winner. I didn't want to say it yet. That's the damn winner right there. I would say I agree with you guys that the one in the middle, the Kojigun paste is the winner. For me, it's because of how unique the flavor is. Normally yeah. you don't get a lot of cheesy flavors on the steak. Like you can cover it in Nashville and it tastes well and it complements, but to get 
such a profound cheesy flavor into that steak it's out of this world anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything is always on the description down below thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys on the next one take care buddy bye-bye yes and the airplane did go by see you guys on the next one take care bye-bye